Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode in my journey series. There is a bit of a difference for the start of this episode anyway. We are using 1.5.2 Optifine. You can't really see up there. The only way I can prove it is because if I go into video settings, you can see there's a whole host of new options that are not available. For example, the smooth lighting level, the render distance levels, those weren't added until 1.7. And even then, there were certain ones that weren't added until much later. You've obviously got all your performance stuff here and all that. Um, I don't think we'll be using this for the entire time. I do want to go and see what the lava's like though, because at one point in time Optifine rendered lava differently. No, it's still exactly the same. It must have been in 1.2 or something, or 1.3. But the lava looks pretty much fine. Right, what we're doing is we've got fog off. What happens if I turn fast? Okay, we're going to see if the ghasts frozen in time still exist. Um, so yeah, I've got it down at short render distance because I don't want to load too many chunks. Uh, we're going to hop into this minecart. And we're not going to go anywhere. Darn it. Um, right, let's try that again. There we go. So we're at short render distance. Ooh, the texture doesn't look that good, does it? Up ahead of me. I wonder if there's a... Hang on, is it quality? Yeah, bitmap. If we turn it off, yeah, so it was the bitmap level that was affecting the track. That's very weird. Uh, the reason I've been optified is because you can obviously turn off fog. That's one of the main benefits of it. The thing is, though, I don't think you'll, you'll quite be able to see them until you load them. That's part of the problem. So they're going to disappear either way. Uh, let's try bump up to plus 32, maybe. Is there a zoom key? Hang on, let's see if there's a zoom key. Oh, there is a zoom key. Boom. Look at that. Alright, uh, let's bump up the distance again. We'll go to plus 48. The values are different from what you would get in modern versions. I think it's based off of uh, blocks instead of chunks. Let's go up to normal. Can we see anything? I think they've disappeared. Don't think we'll be able to see them unless they render it and then inevitably despawn. Alright, here's the final one. Final one. This could be it. Bit of a shame because they were quite iconic. Yeah, I don't see them anymore. It's very, very peculiar. I mean, it was a big glitch anyway. Let's, oh wait, oh, maybe it's not blocks, maybe the value's not blocks, it must be to do with something else. There's There was usually a whole cluster of them in the background there, but I don't, I don't quite see them, I mean this glass texture ain't helping. Let's just go all out, should we go all out extreme? Let's go all out extreme, boom, right, load that. Well, it looks like those pesky ghasts have well and truly gone. They were there for many, many versions. Uh, we lost sight of them when the void fog or the nether fog was uh, made more dense. And now I've loaded quite a bit of land. Oh, look, you can see a... Uh, you can see a uh, not a stronghold, sorry. A nether fortress way in the back there. Also... Those blocks there, oh no, they kind of look like quartz, those blocks there, but I think they're just netherrack. There will be some quartz blocks though, uh, down by that. Oh look, you can see quartz, look. Just above my cross here, there's some nether quartz out there. So, in some ways, it's a bit annoying that they've gone, because we tried to keep them loaded as long as possible. Um, ghasts from previous versions that had just kind of gone outside the render distance, gone outside the loaded chunks, and were just sat there doing nothing um, but yeah they've gone now which incidentally means we could build a portal to the stronghold or things like that but I'm not going to I'm just going to leave it as it is but yeah there's a fortress way in the background there there's some nether quartz that we can see from our own base here that's probably what we'll get if we ever decide to well we will we will eventually get it for our museum um Oh, I hate this glitch. Can I not sit in that? Okay, so we're doing a third-person time-lapse, making use of 
the LAN feature that was added in the game in 1.3. Obviously, we're used to that. It's a thing. Um, but obviously, it's not been in this world for much of the duration of which the series is, has gone. So I've had to use a server for third-person time lapses. And I've chosen not to do too many of these because I've not really seen uh, much of an opportunity purely because a lot of the builds have been the same. A lot of the builds we've done in the city over the last, you know, 20 or so episodes, they've all been pretty much the same. So there's not that much interesting about them. This is slightly different. You can already tell that because of the stone brick use. Um, the roof the roof is probably going to be pretty much the same. Um, but I am using a design and we're designing uh, or we're building a bit of a blacksmith's. And we're doing that here, uh, as you can see, next to the custom tree. Uh, it's in an area that's a little less rigid in terms of structure. It's more natural, it's more open. There's one or two houses across the path. There's the tree, there's the grass, there's the um, the cheap shop or whatever you call it. So, you know, or cheap marketplace. But the point is, it just felt like the right sort of build to put in this area. Um, it's, yeah, just out of the way a bit. And yeah, it's got a medieval theme to it. So, the uh, the build itself isn't, um, it's not difficult, but it's something that I had to take inspiration from, I was, or for, I was looking a lot online uh, for designs, and a lot of them were just too big, uh, used different blocks I didn't have. This one was actually different because it had a porch at the, the, the side, uh, out the front, sorry, but I'm putting the porch area at the side in this build. I've kind of reorientated it slightly, as I did with the cheap marketplace, and that should hopefully make it uh, look that wee bit better. As you can see, we get a nice view over the city here. You can see the towers, some of the other roofs, the crane in the distance there. I really do like the crane. I think it adds a lot to the the quayside when looking at it from far away. And you can also see the statue at the top of the gate. Uh, this is me now just working on the side. Can't remember if I go for a sideway... Oh yeah, wait, an alternating log pattern? Oh no, I, I couldn't remember if I did an alternating log pattern or... I did, well, I just went for the wool, the standard wool look. Also, the, the footage isn't as fast as I normally do just because uh, I didn't feel the need. It's... Uh, it's nice just to see the build in action, where sometimes the footage can be too fast. Uh, sometimes the footage needs to be fast, because otherwise it would take too long. Uh, but this build wasn't the most difficult, especially as I uh, could just look across and see what, what to do next, based on the image I was uh, looking at. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, the city is progressing nicely. I'm really happy with it. A lot of my episodes when working on it have been pretty long and, you know, I've been doing a lot on camera. I've been doing a lot off camera too, but I kind of feel the need to do a lot on camera just because it's, you know, that's encapsulates the whole idea of a let's play. And uh, ultimately that's, that's what I was trying to get out of it, really. Just adding stuff to the doors here, as you can see. It's quite good because with a medieval build, there is a lot you can add in terms of things that help the society run, things that help the city run, um, you know, storage areas, uh, other sorts of builds. The issue is I've not really assigned um, a function to a lot of these builds. I've said that before, but there's not much inside. So I've not really said, okay, so this is that and this is a customs office or this is a, you know, an inn or a pub or whatever. I've not really done that, and the reason for that is just because I, I've just wanted to focus on the actual builds and the actual aesthetics as opposed to um, maybe the load or the, uh, well, as I said, the function behind these things. It's just made it a bit easier for me, and it's helped me uh, plow ahead and get to the stage that we're at now, where we're almost, we're almost finished. We've still got a wee bit to go, but we are almost finished. Here I'm just trying to shape the roof in such a way that makes it look... Uh, better than just a you know a flat roof that actually looked okay just a bit funky so that was the first third person time lapse I'd done for quite a while and uh, this is how the build eventually came out I'm quite happy with it it's 
is different in the sense that for well for stars i use stone bricks for the frame i did get inspiration for this off of the internet but i didn't copy it like block for block i'll, I'll say that much first of all because the image was using a pack and uh, i'm not and also because the picture was very very small so even if i tried to copy it, it would have taken me so long to pick out finer details of that uh, but this is what we've got i might add windows on this side uh, inside here i've added a bit of a fireplace um hopefully nothing burns down i don't think it should i'm almost tempted to uh to do something like that maybe but that doesn't leave much space does it it's like a blast furnace almost um Oh dear, it's turning night. Oh, I did appreciate that. Um, it was very laggy, the LAN world. I, this this was the first uh, third-person time-lapse I've recorded using uh, the LAN, and it was very laggy. The internet had a hiccup while I was doing this. Uh, we're going to craft ourselves an anvil, because, of course, blacksmith, we've got to have an anvil out here. So we'll just, uh, we'll just bung that down there. Um... We're going to put that there, just as a bit of a table. Plus, I've also got some item frames. So, I think we're going to, yeah, just put these up on the wall here. Should we put a window up? Uh, we could. Let's put a window here, I guess. Just for something different. And then I think we'll put some windows up here. So, yeah, it was pretty fun to, to build all this. And it's... Uh, as I said, it does look a wee bit different. It's, it's different style, different shape. I'm happy with uh, the way it's gone. Right, I think over here, over here we'll put some, we'll put some tools. I picked out an arrow just because I thought that'd be kind of cool. That's kind of blacksmithy, right? And then over here. Well, I was going to put an iron tool, but I don't actually have any more iron. Let's let's go get some. I forgot to bring extra. Oh, we peddled right over the uh, the build we intended to go in. Right here we go. Uh, let's just take it all. Oh yeah, I also wanted to craft some furnaces just because why not? I mean, it makes sense. Furnaces, I believe, would go with a blacksmith kind of build. Uh, let's make. Yeah, five will be fine. So, I'll actually, you know what, let's move the table. Let's put that there, or those there. Let's have the anvil there. And we can craft ourselves some swords and stuff. Let's do a sword and a pickaxe, I guess. I could have got the... If I was more resourceful, I'd get the tools that... The zombies have dropped in my grinder, but I can't be bothered going and picking them up. Maybe we could have some more over here. Yeah, we'll put some more over here. Let's have another arrow, just because we've got one on us. And another sword, and we'll do a spade this time. So yeah, this is the first, it's the first build that I'm actually taking a bit of interest in the interior. It's also the first build that has a chimney but I'm not convinced you'll be able to see it from many places in the uh, the city. You can just about see it right there, about down here. Let's check it out. Yeah, you can just about see it poking out of the, the roof, which is quite interesting because obviously fireplaces and all that would have been quite common. You know, how else are you going to warm your, your house? You know, what they didn't have uh, electric heating or gas heating or anything like that. So, fireplaces were the number one way of uh, sorting yourself out with heat. And maybe even light to an extent. But, none of my builds here actually have a fireplace or chimneys, more to the point. So, yeah, it's slightly less authentic in that regard. But, I mean, you know. Oh, I was going to put these indoors. I mean, it's it's just one of these ones that I'm not that experienced when it comes to building fireplaces. Plus, it's not something I'm particularly... Well, I'm not bothered about it, otherwise I would have made an effort. 
if if I'm not good at something but I feel the need to add it, then I'll do it anyway. But here, I, I yeah, I didn't really. I wasn't that bothered. Let's have. Oh, I was gonna say maybe we could have the uh, the stoves kind of indent, but we'll we'll just do that. All right, here we go. Just gonna add one last table, and I actually brought a bunch of cobblestone because I thought, oh, we should add a crafting table. Why not? We'll add a crafting table, and I'm gonna craft a hang of a lot of these because why not? I feel the need to add them. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so that should do it for this build. I don't have any other ideas for what I'm going to be adding in this area. But we can uh, have a think about that. I think, if anything, I, I might add a tree here or maybe another... I mean, you, you might be able to get a small build in, but I don't want to just build for the sake of it. At the same time, though, I don't want to just add something for the sake of adding it. I don't want to just add a tree because, you know, I can't be bothered putting something in there. Anyway, that will do it for episode 231. Thank you very much for watching. I heard zombies and... or skeletons, rather. I don't know where they are. Hopefully they're underground and not in one of my builds. Anyway, yep, thank you. And good night.